Go. I'm never going to have a better call than this. Hello. Oh my gosh, I got You're not bad. You cannot be a push. Nobody is going to respect you. We got to get going on that. Be comfortable when you're yeah. six, that's creepy. You're also stunting your life. I don't know if that was helpful. This is Work Like a Girl. I'm Erica Nardini. This is our call-in show where we dispense all sorts of advice to women and all sorts of people who want to get ahead in their career. Hi, this is Maria. How are you? What's up, Maria? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Hit me. What do you got? So, so I came from a really negative workplace. Like I had, I was discriminated against for like, you know, my age, my gender. It was not great, obviously. And I was really happy to get rid of get out of there uh-huh. um, I started a new job in September and it's been really wonderful like great. it's the most supportive place I've probably ever been in and there's just a lot of great things there's room for growth there like it's all great right but I keep, like I don't know why I have this like weird feeling inside like a shoe's about to drop and something bad is going to happen and I don't think it will but like I have this like bad intuition so how can I fight that and kind of like break down that wall with my teammates and like really give myself all into this positive work workplace? Well, what what's giving what's the reason that you have a bad spidey sense? Like what's prompting that? Well, I think because at my at my old job, it was always like people were talking behind people's backs. Okay. Um, and then you would find out like later, like much later, like oh, like they said this about you. Like I did not know, for example. So I work in compliance. So, you know, I walk in one day and someone had said something like behind my back that I didn't know. And I found out years later and they said, you know, who was this young girl trying to tell me how to do my job? Oh, okay. So, okay. So I would say a couple things. One is um, don't bring, it's like anything, like don't bring the baggage of your last job to your new job or your last friendship to your new friendship or your last relationship to your new relationship or your last marriage to your new marriage. You know what I mean? Like it's. I think it's hard because it's probably still on your mind and it's hard to make things leave your mind because it takes sometimes like a really long time to process stuff. So like I feel like that all the time where I spend a lot of time thinking about things that happened in the past or things that happened with other people and I'm like, wait, 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 like I'm trying to be present in this new place. So I, I, I think one, what you're going through is very normal. Like everyone goes through that. I go through that. Um, I, I think the second thing though, is don't make that your future by projecting it. Right. So you, you worked at a shitty company or your company had shitty people in it. You know what? There are shitty people in every company in the world. Like shitty people are everywhere. All you can control is you and focusing on, all right, you're going to set great boundaries at work. You're going to set healthy relationships with your coworkers. You're going to do an amazing job and you're not going to let your age or lack of your age or your gender factor into that. You're like, I am a great compliance person. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to be a great compliance person. I'm going to leave work, you know, and go do whatever it is you want to do outside of work. So I think the first thing I would say is don't assume that everyone is like your old coworkers. Don't give them the power. Don't give people so much power in your head that like uh, they're going to turn into my old people like my old coworkers. There are people in this job that you have who are going to disappoint you. There are also people who are going to wow you. And there are people who are going to teach you and there are people who are who you're going to teach. So I think focus on the things that are positive and focus on the things that you can control and focus on the things that are healthy and productive and try not to try to let go of the rest. Like if you busy your mind with the good stuff, it kind of leaves less time in your mind for the bad stuff. Like I do this if I'm like kind of anxious about something I'll just give myself, I make a game with myself of like, how much work can I do today? Or how how many of these things can I get done? And have those things be be really positive. Like I, I went through this thing, I was like feeling kind of out of touch with the talent here. So I was like, you know what? Every day this week, I'm just going to text five personalities at Barstool and check in on them and see how they're doing and what's going on. That to me was a better way to deal with like, God, what's going on with the talent? Like it was, it made it feel productive versus me just being anxious. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I completely understand. I think that's a really great way to do it. Because then you're like, then you're doing something. And while you're doing something, good things can happen and good things will happen. And then don't, you know, 
the first time somebody fucks up in the new job, don't don't be like, Ugh, this place is just like the last place. It's terrible. It's horrible. You know what I mean? Give You got to give people a little leeway of like nobody's perfect. Certainly people are not perfect all the time. Your job isn't going to be great all the time, but your job already sounds much healthier, much more, you know, much more fulfilling. So focus on that and make it as fulfilling and healthy as you can, as, as you can. Great. Thanks so much. And I think part of it too, not to go back a little bit, but um, I didn't take a week off or any time off in between. Um, it was just a long weekend. It was Labor Day. Oh, you so, got to take a week off. Yeah, I was going to say, I think like going forward, next time I ever switch, just factor in that week because it's just one I think I- billion percent. Better. Yeah, you got to take a week. You got to sleep as much as you can. You got to like process and chew on what just happened to you. Like two weeks is ideal. But it, without that break, it, then, you, then you just switched gears really fast in a car, you know? Right, right. So do that next time. We'll do. Thanks so much, Eric. I appreciate it. Okay, see you later. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Erica. What's up? My main question is, um, since I am starting a new role at the same company, how can I best manage um, this transition period from my old team to my new team? Um, based on conversations with my old manager, there's an expectation that there may be a bit of overlap with you know, emails and tying things out while also onboarding onto this new role. Um, So how can I effectively set boundaries with my old team and sort of have a hard stop of, you know, I don't need to be CC'd on these meetings or emails and sort of like, yeah, yeah, you're like, like go on and, but like stop emailing. Yeah, totally. How do you say stop (laughs) emailing me nicely? Um, Okay. What kind of sector do you work in? Like what kind of company do you work for? So it's a technology company, but I'm on, my new role is in the business operations side. Okay, got it. So I think one, transitions are always hard because it's kind of like your heart and your head are in a new place, but your body and your time or your hands or your inbox is in an old place. Um, So that can always be a little bit tricky, right? Because you don't want to leave anybody hanging, but you don't really give a shit anymore because you've moved on. And then you also want to impress all the new people you're going to work with. So Mm -hmm. I think what I would recommend you do is set really, really clear, be really, really clear about how you communicate. So I would say to everybody who emails you, hey, today is my first day in the business operations group. So excited about it. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to do my best to transition everything, you know, from my old job. I'm going to try to do that as quickly and as expediently as possible and as thoroughly as possible. And then I'm also going to start to step back so that I can focus on my new responsibilities. So I would just be really clear about the setup to everybody and people should respect that. I think the second thing you can do is one thing you might want to think about is for this week, put in your calendar like an hour of time or half hour of time and you're like this is the amount of time I'm giving today to transition stuff so as you're going through your day and you're trying to take on new tasks and responsibilities and meetings and all that kind of stuff you you don't want to get be bouncing back to the old job all the time so maybe just set one block of time where you're like this is my hour of time where i'm answering old job emails or i'm helping with old job tasks and maybe that's an hour today and maybe by wednesday it's 45 minutes and by friday it's a half hour but you got to dial that time down and then the other thing i would say is Every time you respond to, you know, a request from somebody to do something or whatever, I would say, here's my answer, blah, blah, blah. Here's how you do this. Here's how we're tying this up. Um, You can remove literally just exactly what you said when you called, which is you can take me off this email. Uh, You should have everything you need at this point. So you also can kind of subtly give like the fuck off like I'm done here without without being rude. You're like, hey, you should be all set. Like this is everything I know. This is everything I have. Best of luck. Can't you know, I wish you all the best. So maybe that those kind of things might help you. Yeah, definitely. That that really helps because I definitely do feel bad. I guess, leaving my team, even though they totally supported me in this transition. So that's the perfect way to sort of bridge that gap while I transition. 
Yeah, I think it's like transitions are tough. I think one is make sure you take the high road. Like don't, your team is going to want to complain about what life is like without you. And your ego is going to be like, ooh, tell me more. Tell me how great I was when I was there and how they're lost without me. Mm -hmm. So don't let yourself play in that. Like focus on your new job and your new world and what you want to accomplish there. And then be, be helpful, but be firm about your transition. So, you know, people are always going to get riled up. This went wrong. That went wrong. Somebody screwed this up, whatever. Like, don't get involved in the fray. Just be like, okay, great. Like, here's, here's the answer you need from me. Good. Don't say things like, let me know how it goes. Don't say things like, keep me posted. Don't say things like, you know, put me on the loop with this. You got to like dial it down. So you're like, here's everything I know. This is how it should help you. And you know, all the best. Okay. That's so, that's perfect. Thank all you All right. So much. Have a great first day of your job. Let's go. I'm never going to have a better call than this. Hello. Oh my God. I got you're back. Back. You cannot be a push. Nobody is going to respect me. We got to get going on that. Be comfortable when you're yeah. six stats creep. You're also stunting your life. I don't know if that was helpful. 